Today we're going to take a look at doing a system restore using Windows XP system restore utility. Uh, the one thing that must happen before you can do a system restore is you need a restore point. And uh, I have set a restore point or several restore points uh, today. And uh, let's say I did some major things to my computer. Maybe I did a software install and a few other things. And perhaps the thing is not running right after I did the software install. Could be a case where I installed something that uh, messed with a uh, data link library or something like that on the computer. And uh, and whenever I've done these kind of things, I've made some major changes to the to the executable part of the program files. Uh, the only way to get back to it is restoring back uh, using a system restore or uh, restoring from a backup that you've made with a backup utility. Um, the one thing that we've got to make sure that we do uh, when we do a system restore like this is make sure that you uh, make settings uh, changes in Norton's uh, uh, system works. Now I've already made these changes so, but I'll show you where they're at and what, what you need to do. You click on Norton to bring it up, click on options and Norton Internet Security. It brings up the information here that we need right here this uh, this second one down turn on protection for Norton products if that is turned on if that check mark is like this if it's selected you've got a problem because what it will do is it will protect itself from having alterations occur uh, to it and to the operating system so you make sure that this is deselected if it is deselected then it will work correctly um, so in this case, since I've already done it, I don't have to apply it or anything. I just tell it OK and I'm get out of there. Uh, but make sure that's deselected and you'll be OK. Click on the Start button, System Restore, Restore my computer to an earlier time, tell it Next. Select a software, uh, my Software Restore Point. I named it Software Restore Point so I knew that that was what I did. Uh, I did in a software install and in case something went wrong, I can now reverse the process. So I click on Next. And it says, before continuing, save your changes and close any open programs. Make sure you do this. If they are, if there are any open programs, the system won't be as stable and things might not work. So what we want to do is we want to do this uh, very carefully and reverse the process. So now we're rebooting. The computer now is saying it's shutting down. You'll see the system restore comes on. And it's restoring the files and getting everything in place. Once everything is in place, we are... Uh, going through the restore process in full swing, what it will do is it should reverse uh, back to that restored setting and uh, we should have a, uh, a, cl a fairly clean system to work with now. Okay, it looks like we're coming on up with Windows. Uh, loading my personal settings, restoring back to the original, going back to the original stuff, and we'll see if it completed the, the restore successfully. Hopefully it did. Hopefully we won't have any problems, and that would be a great thing. But this process doesn't take very long, and uh, the important thing is once you finish this, you've got to remember to set things back like you had them as far as Norton. Otherwise, it is not going to protect the system adequately. Okay, it looks like my restoration was complete, and I'm going to go ahead and tell it OK. I do, I'm happy with that. Uh, now I'm going to do it down and click on Norton. I'm going to go to the options, Norton Internet Security. I'm going to turn my protection back on. Uh, I can either click on Apply or OK. Either one will get you there. I just click on OK because it closes the window as well. And we close it off and it looks like we're done. Uh, what I'd like to do is thank you for uh, watching my video. If you need computer help and information, come to my website at home.earthlink.net forward slash tilde crabby. Or you can Google or Bing me at Krabby's Place. Just look for the entry that says Welcome to Krabby's Place. You can also uh, Google Welcome to Krabby's Place. That will get you there as well. Have a great day and thanks for watching.